Hey there, this is Lee Stranahan, and I'm continuing to debunk this dishonest New York Times piece smearing my reporting about Twin Falls. And we're going to make you a little bit smarter about the way the refugee program works. First, here's a term you might want to know about. It's called the Wilson Fish Program, and it's part of the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services right here. This is the Office of Refugee Resettlement page. And basically, the Wilson Fish Program is an alternative to traditional state-administered refugee resettlement. Instead of the state running it, they sort of create a a public-private partnership. Now, the reason I mention this is I showed you in the last video that uh, the New York Times claimed I provided no evidence that there was funding that would benefit refugees, but I showed it to you right here. But this is for not from a government, right? It's not. It's from the Idaho Office for Refugees. So who is the Idaho Office for Refugees? Well, you can find out pretty quickly that they're a program of Janus, Inc. Well, who is Janus, Inc.? Janus, Inc. is, oops, this is a, by the way, this is a chart you can find that shows the different states, Wilson Fish programs. You can find out if you're interested. But uh, Janus, Inc., when you go to their website, they have financials. And Janus, Inc., it says on their financial, I looked at the 2014-2015 tax return. Look right here. The Idaho Office for Refugees is a program of Janus. And hey, it's part of the Wilson Fish Cooperative Agreement. So in other words, yes, the government was providing funding and is providing funding to help refugees get jobs. There you go, New York Times. There you go, Caitlin Dickerson. Why are you lying in your story? More coming.